Astro B is a robot that operates on uh, the International Space Station and it's uh, used as a research platform for uh, space uh, exploration and uh, living in space. It's a robot that can be used to study how to program satellites to operate, how to program uh, robots to interact with astronauts. So it can uh, monitor different things like uh, radiation, sound. It's a mobile camera platform that can go anywhere inside a space station to visualize what the astronauts are doing or what different parts of the space station are doing. And it can also uh, support the astronauts in, in doing uh, procedures and different types of a maintenance tasks on, on space station. It's very much like um, uh, the Roomba of, of space station. Uh, Astro B as is is a next generation free flyer that builds off of a, a current free flyer operating on the space station called Spheres. Spheres was first built by MIT and as the uh, origin story goes, uh, there was an MIT professor who challenged his senior design class to build the same type of droid robot that you see in Star Wars. Astrobe is being designed to be a lot more automated, a lot more uh, self-sufficient. So it's got a docking station, it can go recharge, go back out, do what it needs to for hours at a time and then go back, all without astronauts being around. So it can do these things all by itself. So what you see here is an air carriage holding uh, an Astrobe uh, prototype on the top. We have CO2 cartridges here that send out uh, compressed CO2 between the air carriage and this table. So that's a little cushion of air that it floats on top of and it can move anywhere on this table uh, with almost no friction. You can see the uh, touch screen. There is the uh, intake for fans that keeps the uh, circuits inside cool. Uh, different cameras on the top that help it navigate where it is on the space station. This is where the batteries plug in on the bottom. And then this whole area is open for other hardware to plug into it. And in the back on the top is where the perching arm is. So this little arm can pop out and uh, it's got this little gripper that can grab onto a handrail. The blue handrails that are all over space station um, that astronauts actually use to move around. As it turns out, uh, astronauts do spend a lot of time repositioning cameras. They do spend a lot of time taking uh, measurements and samples all around space station. They do spend a lot of time looking for things and trying to find different things on space station. So these are all things that a robot can do all by itself and save uh, astronauts a lot of time. There are concepts of sending spacecraft to the moon or to Mars without astronauts so that it all gets brought together and astronauts get there later. So we need robots there that can maintain and do these things uh, even when astronauts aren't there. <laughs>